Hello! In this video I'd like to introduce the most important data types and generic filters in Adaptive Vision Studio. I'll use the official rubber ring example for that. Each filter port has its data type and you can always check it in the tooltip. In this case, it's an image. Some additional information about the data type is shown in the preview. It's a free channel image with 8 unsigned bits per channel. A compressed binary form of an image is called a region. An opened or a closed sequence of points is called a path. Next, we have a profile and a segment. In this case, it's an array of segments. You can also work with simple types such as real or integer numbers, text strings or bool values. This is of course not the full set of available data types Please refer to the link in the video description to find more. As you probably noticed, each type has a suitable representation in the preview. Some of the types can be previewed both in textual and image view. For example, segments. Dragging ports of these types with the left mouse button uses the default data type view, here textual. Using the right mouse button lets you decide which view you prefer. I'll choose image view here. An important thing to mention is that in addition to filters with fixed data types, there are so-called generic filters. The T letter in the description indicates that fact. You need to specify the type of data that such filters will process. You can change that type anytime later, but if you already have some connections with such filter instance, you might need to revise these connections due to possible incompatibility.